Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Creators on the Crest. I'm Stephanie, and this is your July monthly reading. Today, I will be pulling a Celtic cross spread for you, and we'll close off the reading with an oracle card for the Cancerian Collective. Do keep in mind these are general readings. Take only what resonates. You may want to have a look at your Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node readings for additional context. And in the description below, I have links for personal readings, donations, and also my social media. I would love to connect with you more, and certainly I gratefully accept and appreciate any support that you would like to give me on building this channel and my business. So Cancer, I'm sporting the Cancer shirt today because we are um, entering into the cancer season and it's very exciting so at least for me because i'm a cancer son and i'm sure for you if you're watching this you've got those cancer placements all right let's see what's going on for july happy birthday to some of you happy belated birthday if your birthday was in june okay cancer so you're kicking us off here with your current situation a focus on partnerships with the two of cups this is crossed by the six of swords um there may be some looking back some level of resistance you could be having memories about a past relationship you could be possibly letting something go and you'll have to pardon if you're hearing the um stone cutting noises in the background one of the neighbors is getting um a retaining wall putting put in so there are stone saws going on in the background hopefully it'll be a little bit of white noise and and speaking of distractions cancer something you may be wanting to be distracted from a partnership you may be wanting space uh, but yeah, there's definitely this feeling of looking back, um, seeing if there's anything that you missed in relationship to some sort of partnership. In your focus area, you have the hermit. This is you pulling inside, really seeking out your own inner wisdom so that you can then shine that out for the world. This feels a lot like you coming into alignment or aligning up with your purpose, your mission, your values. And it feels pretty deep. We'll get clarifiers. You're leaving behind um, what I'm seeing is the Queen of Cups, which is really interesting. So this could be a part of your energy cancer that is... Um, that kind of energy that is over nurturing, over giving, that maybe doesn't take the time or space to honor boundaries or maintain boundaries or reinforce boundaries, that is the energy that I'm getting that you're walking away from or leaving in the past. I think there's been some uh, imbalance created there because of what might seem like good intentions on your end, but it ends up putting you in kind of the negative. So not having your tanks fully, fully full. In your strength here, we have the Eight of Swords. Now this to me, showing up in the strength position tells me that you are doing a really good job at catching how you might use your thoughts against you or when these thoughts of fear and uh, scarcity and uh, judgment are kind of creeping in, you are really aware of it. So this is right now your strong suit and it could be because we are in, you know, the Cancer Sun time frame. So this is being illuminated for you. In the future, it does look like um, with the Five of Wands, a little bit of conflict or a little bit of ways that you have to figure something out or something you're going through um, where it might feel like you're getting pulled in multiple directions or getting advice from maybe too many channels and it's all kind of, you know, but you're like actively trying to work through that. So that might be a bit of whatever is happening in your transformation for the month in the advice and support the universe is really letting you know with the five of pentacles that it is time for you to really stick with yourself it is time for you to really honor your heart 
in all the ways in life that we experience like abandonment or rejection and those kinds of things, some of the hardest ones to overcome are when we do that to ourselves. And so Cancer, you're being encouraged to really stay with yourself through whatever challenges you're facing here for through all the different voices, all the thoughts that are coming up that you're catching, all of the fears to really stand by your own side uh, for the month of July and really be mindful of that. In your environment, you have the Two of Swords. Now, to me, um, this this is typically a confused energy, but here what I'm what I'm seeing is more of a you're trying to strategize, like how are the pieces of the situation you're dealing with gonna move? How are they gonna to fit together? What pieces need to be moved first? What need to move second? This is gonna take some time and patience from what I can see, but that's what's going on in the environment for you. And in your hopes and fears, you have the moon and the moon is the card of cancer because um, cancer is, is ruled by that moon energy. So you know, we can look at this as a gift. We can look at it as we are good at um, legitimately and deeply uncovering shadows in ourselves and even in others and in the world. Um, but we can also look at this as a, um, a bit of a heads up to say, let's not get too bogged down in the ills of the world, in whether it be your own fears or fears of what's coming up because of the situations that you are dealing with at the moment. So there's a mindfulness coming in with this moon here and really illuminating things with that gentle light. And in the potential outcome, we have the King of Cups. So we have you. I like this energy because remember, you're leaving behind the Queen of Cups energy, which I saw and felt as kind of the reversed Queen energies where she's just like bleeding all her energy out to everyone and then there's none left for her. And here we're moving into the King of Cups. This is a better mastery. This is a better um, connection with you allowing your cup to be filled by the universe. And that's what it looks like here. Okay, Cancer. Whew. Taking us deep already. Let's go ahead and first clarify this two of cups, the partnership in your current situation that you are looking at. You've got the six of pentacles and the fool. There's been, it seems like, a lot of focus on this partnership and it being uh, questionable whether or not the exchange between you and this person has been one of like an equal give and take or a give and receive or just that are the proper elements in place for that kind of balanced energy to actually come around and, and manifest between the two of you. And with the fool's energy here, I think the both of you are probably learning that while love is a beautiful thing and there's beautiful and loving energies that you've been able to be a part of as a part of this partnership, there is much more wisdom to be gained and there might be some growth that the both of you need to accept and move through here. Because remember, our challenge here is this, is this uh, Six of Swords. And so it might be a little difficult to get into the place where you see clearly the balanced energies while you might be feeding those older patterns, which you're also trying to leave behind. Okay, so the Six of Swords is clarified by the Devil and the Six of Wands. Now, this tells me, Cancer, that you have put quite a bit of work into this. Um, certainly, there are blind spots for you. Uh, certainly, there are blind spots for the other person. Um, Part of what you're showing me here is that you feel 
a victory over coming some of the blind spots and some of the angles and some of the things that maybe you did not see before. There could also be an influence of an addiction or dependencies going on in that have influenced where you're at in this connection. And certainly they will. That's just the nature of those kinds of challenges. And I see that these challenges ultimately, while it's very hard to navigate and very hard to flow through this at times for you, I see these ultimately your ability to take on the challenge and to deal with this situation, whatever it might bring, is going to provide you quite a bit of freedom, a feeling of freedom. And not in the way like, you know, necessarily like things are so horrible that you feel like completely locked down. But this is more like your full expression kind of returning to you after maybe some misplaced energies going into this partnership, into this other person. Um, that's how we learn and grow. Having these connections and, and going through them and being brave enough to deal with the things that are challenging, that's how we learn and grow. And so I'm seeing that here and I'm seeing your growth resulting from you actually addressing the things that are really important here. So you had that hermit in your focus area and clarifying that is the seven of wands and the queen of cups. Right now, it feels best to you um, to come into yourself, to come into your inner wisdom, to maybe have some boundaries, to maybe take your time uh, to protect yourself. That seems to be important here, protecting yourself, not bleeding out your energy. Remember, that's what you're leaving behind with that uh, reversed queen of cups. Even though she didn't come out in reverse, I'm feeling that reversed energy where you're just totally exhausted and totally drained. And so protecting your energy, maintaining your energy, doing um, some guided practices, because remember your strength is like noticing like all your thoughts and that eight of swords, but doing some guided meditative practices or allowing yourself to be guided, going to a yoga class, getting in community, but where you can listen to someone kind of guide you through something is probably going to be very helpful right now for you to really make the most of this um, hermit energy where you're really figuring out vision, purpose, values, reassessing. And here we have the Queen of Cups in more of her receptive state. In she's looking more like the, the king I got here in the sense that she's opening up to the universe and saying, okay, um, I'm gonna release control of how all of this happens. I'm going to be present with the water element. I'm gonna be present with the flow of the universe and I am going to make sure that my energy is clear enough that I can hear the guidance of the universe and I'm going to cease to uh, bleed out my energy because I'm protecting my energy here. Okay, let's look at this Queen of Cups from the past. And sure enough, it's clarified by the Five of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Now, you do have the Five of Wands in the future. And remember, I said that's challenge, that's conflict, that's trying to figure things out and it being a little bit tricky. I think that's what energy you've put into in the past. So between your past and future, it really is showing that you're moving through some hard stuff right now, Cancer, which excuse me. Yeah. So the energy as I'm talking like and in identifying this, the energy is moving up and out of my body, causing me to kind of feel what's going on in the Cancerian collective here. Now, since it is our birthday time, it's a really nice month to reconnect with that soul spark that we have and really identify the ways that um, we've allowed conflict to manifest in our life, in our relationships, in our workplace, all of these things, wherever you might be dealing with this in any kind of partnership, since that is kind of your current situation. Now, you do seem a bit defensive here, so there may be a little bit of work to 
to be done there, or you may be working through that. You may be recognizing that you're kind of writing things off immediately, maybe a little too quickly. You might be recognizing the ways that you've contributed to the conflict before, and you're working on letting that go along with these other energies. In the strength position, so you have this Eight of Swords, and because it's in the strength position, the Eight of Swords is usually a card where we look at it and we say, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm just trapped. I don't know what to do. I can't move. I'm completely bound and tied up, but I'm bound and tied up of my own cause. Like I have caused myself to be in these energies. And your awareness of it here, of this Eight of Swords, shows me that, that you have kind of shown, shown the light on this. This is now in your strength and you get the death card and the empress. And I really think these are beautiful energies to go with this eight of swords as you are releasing these self-imposed uh, thoughts and judgments. You're going to be releasing it for yourself and for your situation and for the other person involved as well. And coming into the Empress energies really allows you, it's it's a return to the self. And that you're, you're showing me your return to yourself here in this reading, for sure. You're coming back into your purpose, your vision, your mission. You're coming back into love. And so some of the things that aren't really in alignment with that are probably going to fall away. Situations, jobs, and even possibly partnerships, as hard as it is. But I really like the strong transformative energies. It's like you're welcoming the transformation. You're like, finally, your greater being is like, finally, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm finally having the courage and finding this inner strength and wisdom. Now, in the future, it looks like some bumps in the road here with the, with the conflict um, that I mentioned. So five of wands, challenging energies. How is this going to work? How do all the details of this situation, how do they, how do they line up? How do they get balanced? And it's clarified by the justice card and the six of swords, which remember you also have in the challenge position here. So your six of swords, it really feels like, um, in this case is about when to let go and be supported, when to um, to know how much to participate in certain activities of this situation. So like if you are leaving a job, you know, it is going to be the question of how much effort do I put in? What is right and true here? You know, and I'm not saying do have bad integrity and completely check out of something. But if you've been bleeding your energy over and over for a job or a career and you've made the decision to leave or you've, you know, you've been let go, how much energy are you really going to put in there? Or do is it better and more rightful for you to bring your energy back to yourself? I know that's hard because a lot of times the cancer whole system goes into, oh, that's greedy, that's selfish. No, 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 cancer. You have to take care of yourself and you have to allow yourself to be supported. It seems like there may be some people around you that are going to help you through this transition. So allow yourself to be supported and don't be afraid to ask for help. The justice card is coming in here saying like, that shows me that you've done for others, let them do for you now. Let them come in and support you through these challenges and through these conflicts. And maybe you don't have to be involved in, in overthinking about how every little piece is going to fit together. Maybe you can let go to some of that, allow yourself to be supported and allow the movement to happen as it will. Let's look at this advice and support. Remember of the five of pentacles. And you get the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So remember I talked about this, that you're going to not abandon yourself. You're going to really stay with yourself, Cancer. There is a tendency here for you to kind of want to run away, kind of want to veg out, but not the good veg out of like, I just need to veg out, you know. This is... Um, 
more of a distraction kind of veg out, you know, so you might be catch yourself doing a little too much scrolling, you know, on social media and looking at TikToks or just, it's those moments where you're just so overloaded and overwhelmed where your mind goes blank and, and you might end up playing like, I don't know, I'm seeing somebody play like Candy Crush Saga or, you know, one of those games that like hooks you in, you know, and sometimes there's just this mental overload energy that needs to be, needs to come out. And so it's you figuring out the healthiest way to deal with that. Now, sometimes there can be those things where we do do a brain challenge or a mind challenge of some kind. And I see you kind of defaulting to that. But with this support being for you to really stay with yourself, you want to be asking yourself, what can I do where I feel most present, where I feel most embodied? And I'm wondering if there isn't some sort of even just gentle stretching or something like, you know, maybe tuning into, like I said, a guided meditation, not just, you know, garbage that you're scrolling through, but like something helpful that you're listening to that can kind of help your mind while you're moving maybe and blending those together. Let's look at your environment here. Okay, so this is the two of swords that you had and it's like a strategy of how to move through this. So you get the two of cups and the three of swords. There's pain here, there's loss, there's an ending, there's grief going on all around you in your environment right now, probably from yourself, probably from your partner, your relationships, um, whomever is significant in your life. Uh, that, you know, the tables have turned, things have changed. Uh, the, the, there's practical issues that need to be dealt with. And at the same time, you're trying to heal like your own heart and you're trying, there, there seems to be this effort to not want to hurt feelings, but you also have to like protect yourself. And this is a really difficult environment for you right now. So strategy seems to be on your mind, which can can get you into figuring out like if this piece moves and then this piece has to move like a chess match, you know, trying to figure out how all of that goes. And then in your energies also, you have this releasing and receiving from the universe. So it's it's a really tough balance, Cancer, it's looking like for you. Now, for some of you, this reading could represent, I, for some of you, I'm getting the need to say this could be a, a blueprint of the past for you, like past life situations where you're feeling the energies, but in from a different angle. So if this isn't some sort of active relationship issue that's going on right now for you, this could be a resonance that has some significance to you from a past life. Maybe it's revisiting one of the learnings and the teachings of what, what you've done or how you handled certain situations. In your hopes and fears, you have the moon. And clarifying the moon is the wheel of fortune and the two of wands. This feels good to me. Um, this feels hopeful, more on the hopeful side, because I think what is so important here is for you to face your fears, regardless of them being fearful, <laughs> you being fearful and you being afraid to face your fears. The winds of change are coming in, literally like the movement of the energy of the archetypes of the tarot is dancing, the cogs are turning, the wheel is moving for you to move through your fears and transform them into hope. And you're doing this by finding a balance. This might take a little bit of reflection time. I do feel like you have identi identified quite a bit of things here in your because in your strength, you had that eight of swords. Uh, so I think there's a lot that's been identified, but it might have you in a position of like, okay, sometimes I just don't know how to move forward and I'm looking for that light. I'm looking for that clarity. I'm looking for that new sunrise. It's like a new sunrise to inspire me or help me along my way. And 
So the sun energy is coming in here to balance out the moon, which is really interesting for you. But, you know, also not surprising on your month here. In the potential outcome, I've got this king of cups, and it's clarified by the five of cups and the knight of wands. So you being able, it's very interesting because you being able to, you want to make sure that as you're opening up to the universe and you're holding your cup and you're saying, okay, universe, I'm trusting, I'm here, I'm showing up, I'm facing my fears, help me fill my cup. You want to make sure that you don't have any leaks in your own bucket. So it's important to shore that up. And you've got this Knight of Wands here coming in and it feels very passionate, very joyful, very wild and free. And again, I'm feeling kind of like free form movement, dance, that kind of thing. Um, jump rope for, you know, if you're exercising, like the exercise jump rope, hula hooping, these kinds of movement energies are going to help you actually shore up any leaks that you have. Because as the universe begins to respond to your call, you don't want literally it coming into the cup and then leaking out the bottom. There is a bit of a leak here and it's coming up in the potential outcome area because as like a, hey, <laughs> you know, fix that hole, fix that leak. Don't let it leak back out. And that's part of the that's part of the lesson here in this whole transformation that you're going through having to do with partnerships is uh, preserving your energy and the times where you have allowed your energy to just leak out. You've been totally drained and totally exhausted. And how do you preserve that now? How do you really bring that in. And it's interesting that movement could help you with that. Tai Chi even, Qigong, these kinds of things like bringing your energy back. Really helpful. Cancer, let's get a card for the Cancerian Collective from the Moonology Oracle deck today. Cancer, you got nothing will come of this situation, a void of course moon. In a form of astrology known as horary, where an astrological chart is cast according to when the question is asked and decoded, a void of course moon means nothing will come of this matter or the situation will bear no fruit. This may or may not be good news if you were worried about something. For example, whatever it was, this card can be taken as a sign that there is nothing to worry about. However, if you're asking about a new project or new relationship of any kind, it's a sign to adjust your expectations of the way things are so that you can get a different outcome. Remember, the cards can only predict what you are currently creating and you can change that with your behavior and beliefs. And so Cancer, I'm gonna take this a bit further for you here. Um, it's in connection with this reading. Some of the additional meanings for this card are the chances of something, and in, in this case, I feel like saying the words working out are diminishing. Something better is probably likely around the corner. Believe that you will get what you need. Surrender to the divine. I see you doing that with the King of Cups there. Take time out, meditate and contemplate. That's the hermit here in your focus area. The meditation, the guided practices that I mentioned will really be helpful. So I know this may not seem like great news for some of you. Some of you already know that this is what it is though. And this is part of your journey as a Cancerian. This is part of your journey of shoring up your energy. This is a part of your journey of sanctifying and protecting your beautiful, lovely, deep and nurturing energies and the way that you give love the way that that you love cancer, and I know because I'm I feel it in my own blueprint. The way that you give love is so kind and genuine and nurturing, and it takes the right kind of people and the right kind of energies to meet and accept that, and then return that in kind back to you. And so many of us Cancerians have had to walk that line between we give too much and we exhaust ourselves 
And the, on the other end, we shut ourselves off completely and don't allow anything in. And so there's a lot of balance that wants to come in for the Cancerian Collective right now. So keep that in mind and in whatever way that that calls to you, that is what is important. Cancer, thank you so much for joining this reading. It has been an honor and I will see you next time.